Hey everybody, Mr. Lyris here. Today we are going to learn about another really cool artist. His name is Velasquez. So watch this video and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Dada, not here. I'm drawing a picture of what I saw when you lost your ball. You were bouncing the ball, Clara waved, Josh threw a stick to his dog, and you lost your ball right after that. But the dog where? It's only a small ball. I looked for it. That was the second mystery today. <laughs> what was the first mystery? It was kind of why I drew the picture. I saw a painting kind of like it. It's like a photograph. It looks so real. And everyone's doing something, just like in yours. But what's the mystery? Did they lose a ball too? No, the mystery is, who is the picture of? What's it about? And how did the artist paint himself in the painting? Let's solve these mysteries. We'll go to the park and find my ball like real detectives. But, but we can walk to the park. Oops. Uh, Dada, I think we're inside the painting we were just looking at. But everything seems so real. Hello. Hello. Mama, Mama, can we keep it? <laughs> He's funny. He's funny. Uh, pardon me, senorita. Uh, how did you get in here? It's quite all right. They look harmless enough. Bienvenido. Welcome. Um, yes, your majesty. I'm Maddie, and this is Dada. Dada accidentally brought us. Oh, we're detectives. We're here to investigate a mystery about a painting. A mystery? How delightful. Is it a painting by our court artist, Sinor Velázquez? Diego Velázquez, at your service. <laughs> I do love mysteries. Sinor Velázquez, we want to know about a painting. Ah, if I tell you, it won't be a mystery any longer. Sinor Velázquez, we will leave you to these lovely guests. Everyone, it's time for lunch. Adios, come see us again. Goodbye. Adios, amigos! Wow! Senor Velasquez, you are a fantastic painter! Gracias, my dear. Gracias. Look how he paints shadows, Dada. On the lady's sleeve, on her knife, and lots of shadow in the background that make the light spots, like in the cooking pot, look so shiny. Senor Velasquez, it's so real! Like standing right inside the kitchen! I think I could smell the eggs cooking. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny fellow. Let's go see my newest painting. I am just finished, and you are the first to see it. Now, you can tell me what the painting is about. It's amazing. The shadows and the light and all the people. But, Senor Velasquez, won't the king and the queen be upset when they see that they aren't in the painting? <laughs> but they are in the painting. Look closer. Closer, closer. Oh! Whoops. I think the dogs brought us inside your painting, Senor Velasquez. Si, si. Very strange indeed. I like it. Uh, I don't see the queen and the king in the painting here anywhere. Mm, I don't see them either. You will have to look even more closely. I see them! There! They're in the mirror! Cool! 
You have to look super hard. They're here, all right. The king and queen wanted a family portrait, and I thought, wouldn't it be fun for them to see everyone in their household looking back at them? When I'm looking in, everyone's looking back at me. See, si, see, si, precisely. It is all about perspective. What you see. What I see. Perspective? See, si, perspective is what you see from where you are standing. And when you move to a new position, you have a new perspective. You painted the picture from right there? That is strange. If you painted from here, you would paint the back of the head of the princess because that's all you can see. But now, from here, I'm seeing what you saw when you painted the painting. See, si, you are seeing what I saw when I painted the painting. But that means you were in two places at the same time. In the picture, and over where Maddie is painting the picture. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Mirrors are very useful. My painting is having fun with perspective. Does that solve your mystery? I think so. The perspective is different for everyone. It's what each person sees. But we detectives still have another mystery. Ah, wonderful! You have captured so much in this! Even your own feet! <laughs> I really see it from your perspective. Fabulous work! Thank you, Senor Velasquez! But I still don't know what happened to my ball! We better go try to solve that mystery too, Dada! Goodbye, Senor Velasquez! Thanks for showing us your painting! You are welcome! Goodbye, Matty! Goodbye, Dada. I guess I'm just not a very good detective. I can't figure out what happened to my ball. That picture is my perspective, Dada. What I saw. What about your perspective? What were you doing when you lost the ball? I was playing with the ball. I threw it at the ground super hard and it bounced. Oh, I found it. <laughs> you found it. I guess we are good detectives. <laughs> We're funny detectives. <laughs> okay, let's take a closer look at another artwork by Diego Velasquez. And, uh, who, you know, can let's take a look at this picture and describe it. Uh, what kind of things do you see in this picture? Anything. What kind of things do you see? Um, well, I see people. I see uh, a little girl and a couple older girls and maybe a mom and a dad. And then I see some people in a mirror in the background. And I think I see actually the artist right there, just a part of the artist who's making the picture. And so that might be Velasquez himself. And I think there's a little doggy right here in the corner. Uh, let's see, what else? I see a door, um, the paint palette. It looks like the little girl is holding something in her hand. I'm not quite, oh, that's a flower. Those are flowers on her wrists. There's flowers in their hair. Okay, it looks like it's from a long time ago. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at our uh, new artist's artwork uh, by Velasquez, and let's look at it right next to an artwork from last week, uh, which is uh, Rembrandt, an artwork from Rembrandt. Uh, can you see anything that is uh, the same about uh, both of these pictures? This one, Rembrandt, this one, Velasquez? What's the same in both these pictures? Well, I see people in both. Mm -hmm. I see that the people in both are looking in different directions. I see
facial expressions on Rembrandt's, but not on Velasquez's artwork, the one his artwork. Let's see, what's different about these two? Ah, uh, well, there's more people here and less people here. Uh, these have facial expressions, these don't. These are mostly girls. These are mostly boys. Okay, so if we're going to make an artwork like Diego Velasquez, uh, what do you think we're gonna be making a picture of? Take a look at this one. What does he make pictures of? Airplanes? No. If you said people or a person or, their, uh, or somebody's face, then uh, you are right. Uh, last week, we practiced drawing facial expressions. And this week, we're going to put what we learned uh, to work by making our own picture with a facial expression, like uh, Diego Velasquez and Rembrandt. Okay, so we are ready to start our portrait with expression today. Uh, go ahead and get your paper and pencil ready, uh, and then we'll, we'll get started right away. We're going to start by drawing the, the shape of the face and hair first, which is why you can see some pictures right there of different hairstyles. So go ahead and get your paper and pencil. Okay, so. I am going to, uh, you can make up your own shape for your face. I'm going to try to make a shape like the ones that you see there. And it, a lot of them look like the letter U. Okay, so if I'm looking at my face right now, I see like the letter, letter U right here from ear to ear. So I'm drawing from ear to ear right now. So on my paper, I am going to draw the letter you. Okay, go ahead and uh, draw the shape of your face. Let's see, I can see my ears. I don't have long hair that covers my ears, so I'm going to draw uh, my ears because I'm drawing a picture of me. I like to put a little S in there for the details. And then I need to draw some hair. And I think my hair looks a lot like this one's hair right here. So I'm gonna try and draw this one's hair. So to draw that, I'm gonna draw like a V And another V right here. And then on top of those V's, I'm going to make a scribble line. So I'm going to start right here. And I'm just going to scribble and scribble until I get to the other side. And then there's the top of my forehead. So I'm going to scribble across there too. So why don't you take a minute to draw your face and or the shape of your face and maybe some ears and some hair. Go ahead and do that now.
Okay, so the next part is we're going to draw eyes. So if you remember, eyes are all different um, depending on your facial expression. If you're surprised, they're wide open. If they're angry, they go down, right? Uh, if you're sad, they kind of go up, right? Or one goes up and one goes down, if you're curious. Uh, I put some eye drawings of eyes over there. If you want to uh, try drawing some of these, it's up to you. Uh, I am going to draw, let's see, what kind of facial expression am I going to do? I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do happy. So my eyes get kind of small when I smile real big. So uh, if you want to draw like mine, you can. You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, I'm just going to draw like, like very, straight lines, and then I'm going to put a very small circle underneath mine. And I'm actually going to draw a line underneath the circle too. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and take a minute to draw uh, your eyes on your picture. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, so you can see I put up uh, some different drawings of different kinds of noses. You can pick one that looks like yours, or uh, you can just try and look at a picture of yourself or maybe yourself in the mirror to draw your nose, or maybe you're drawing somebody else. You go ahead, you pick whatever nose you want. <laughs> Get it? Waka, waka, waka. Don't pick your nose. Um, I'm going to try and draw one that looks like mine. Uh, so uh, for me, I'm just going to draw two lines here. And then I'm going to draw the letter U. Two little lines on the side. And I have two lines that come off of it like that. Uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, take a minute to draw your nose, uh, like if you're smiling, your nose kind of goes up, right? And if you're sad, it kind of looks like it goes down, you can see more. Uh, it's up to you. You pick, you pick your own nose, whichever you want to draw. <laughs> go ahead and do that now.
Okay, so you can see I put up uh, some of the different kinds of mouths you can make depending on your emotions, uh, right? Like if uh, you're going to draw an angry face, you know, your eyes go down and, you know, usually this is a circle and you can see teeth, right? Or if you're sad, right, it goes down, your lip goes down, happy, you know how to make a smile line. Or if you're shocked, maybe it's like <gasps> an O type shape. Uh, it's up to you since I'm smiling in mine, right? I think mine looks a lot like uh, this one right here. So uh, I'm going to uh, just go ahead and draw a smile line from here to here. And then I'm going to add like the little corners, which are like the letter C. And then I have a bottom lip, right? So I'm just going to put another uh, little uh, line right there. And since I'm smiling, my eyebrows go up. So I'm just going to draw two little upside down frowns up here. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and take a minute to uh, draw your mouth right now. Go ahead and do that. Okay, so for the last part, uh, you can see like my neck and my shoulders right here. So for the neck, uh, under your chin here, you're just going to kind of put like the number 11. So there's a one and a one, and then draw like a shirt line, which is like a smile, a smile line. And then for the shoulders, you just draw diagonal lines that go off your paper. If you're close to the bottom of your paper, you can go ahead and do that now. Uh, you don't have to do this. I have to do this. I got some, some whiskers here I got to draw. Oh, I forgot my dimple. I got to draw that too. So why don't you go ahead and take a moment to draw your neck and your shoulders. Go ahead and do that now. While you're doing that, I'm going to add a little bit more detail for my hair. Whoa. Okay, so for the last part, uh, I am going to add a background to my picture. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a line uh, that goes uh, across. 
and I'm going to stop, jump to the other side and keep going. Uh, that's the line for the ground. Uh, you can go ahead and do the same thing. I think I'm going to be outside in my picture, which is why I'm smiling. So I'm going to draw a couple of maybe a couple of trees, which are just scribble lines. You know, maybe I'll put some clouds in the sky, different shaped clouds. There's a cloud over here. Let's see, maybe some like bushes. Okay, and that is how you do a portrait with uh, expressions on it. Uh, I hope you had fun uh, making your drawing of your person with uh, your with uh, expressions on the face. Uh, over the next week, whenever you have time, if you want to add color, that would be awesome. And I can't wait to see these all finished. Uh, next time I see you in class, don't forget to bring in the class to show me. That would be so awesome. Um, Otherwise, go ahead and have an awesome week, and I will see you all next time.